I'm headed on down to the National Sports Collectors Convention. I think this is going to be my fourth. It's possibly my fifth, but I can't really remember how many I've been to before here in Chicago. I think two for sure, possibly three, but I kind of lose count. And I also have been to one in Baltimore. The National is really fun, even though I, you know, in the past years I haven't really bought very much because you really see a lot of cool old stuff like memorabilia, old cards that you just don't see anywhere else. So I'm looking forward to seeing all that. And I probably will pick up a few things I'm looking to add to my 1971 set. Um, I'm kind of slowly building that. I buy a handful of cards here and there. I'll probably also keep my eye out for Twins and Marlins you know, parallels or maybe some low dollar autos. And I'm always keeping my eye out for Rod Carew or Harmon Killebrew, Tony Oliva stuff. And also my first national here in Chicago, I kind of fell in love with the T206 cards, even though, you know, they're pretty high budget, most of them, but I kind of got it in my mind to at least buy a Minneapolis player or two, and I have yet to pull the trigger on that. Maybe today's the day, or tomorrow's the day, because I'm here for two days. Uh, we'll see if that happens. I'm, you know, they're so pretty, they're so colorful, which is really draws me to them. But I'm also, I don't know, I'm a little leery of that old vintage stuff. I'm kind of afraid of getting ripped off, that sort of thing. But, you know, I'm not looking at super expensive ones, so, you know why not just pull the trigger and buy one? I might do that. So looking forward to a fun couple of days here, probably catch up with a few friends and see what else happens. Let's go. So that's it for me on day two of the National and also just that's it for me in general. I'm headed home. I don't think I even, I spent less than $30 on cards. Um, there's a lot of stuff to see but nothing that I really needed. 
and not a lot that I that I was looking for that I didn't really see. Once I get home I will probably film a little recap and show you what I did get but for now we will see you next time. All right, I'm back home and I'm just gonna share the what I picked up, it wasn't much. Uh, the very first place I stopped and the very first day I picked up this, one of the national, special national packs that Topps did. Um, and I got on Max Meyer and that was pretty cool. Hope he's gonna be former gopher and Marlin, obviously. And this was actually all I bought on Friday. I did not buy anything else. Saturday, I found <laughs> this Ostadio negative um, at Phil Hughes booth and I was just going through his $5 cards and thought, and you know, this just popped out and I just had to have it. Um, yeah, that Phil's booth was very popular. Lots of people there, it was hard to take, I mean, he had a few boxes of stuff and a bunch of, um, cards that were graded and I mean they weren't all his they were like his um people that were helping him it was their cards too but uh yeah it was fun looking through his boxes and um I got this Ostadio and then this Mitch Garver and then uh I finally got to go to the singles club booth, which is a really fun booth. And you know, there'll probably be a future nationals too. And when they're not super crowded, you could sit and look through their boxes for hours, I'm sure. And I thought I would see if I could just find 10 cards I'd like for, you know, I had a $10 in my pocket. So I sat down and it took me about 20 minutes to find 10 I wanted. Get some Royce Lewis, a Brent Rooker, Bruce Dark Ratterall. I wish the twins still had him. Another Royce Lewis. Jazz Chisholm. Jesus Sanchez. A Nick Gordon. Another Royce Lewis. Um, a Brad Hand rookie. I have some other Brad Hand rookies, but I don't think I had a blue, so that was pretty cool to find. And then just a Nick Gordon Bowman. And then the only vintage thing I got was this guy. And uh, I had seen it earlier and they wanted $15 for it and it was a big booth. So, um, and there was only two people that it, working it. And so I decided to walk away and come back later. And then I had looked at, you know, eBay in the meantime and realized $15 is way too high for that. And then I found this, uh, you know, later in the day and it was only $5. And so I thought, what the heck? And they really are worse, seem to be similar in condition. So I don't know why the other one was $15, but you know, they take what they can get. I thought that some, there were a lot of prices that were pretty high, but you could definitely find bargains. Um, mostly though, there was a lot of graded stuff, especially basketball, and I just don't collect graded stuff. Um, it really was fun looking at all the vintage, and eventually one of these days I'm still gonna buy that T206. I only found one Minneapolis guy, and it was a little, it was in too good of condition for me. Um, but it was a great time, it was busy. Uh, there were deals to be had if you really wanted them. Uh, the, all the memorabilia was great to see. And, you know, if you are a collector and it's something on your bucket list, you know, make time to do it. You won't regret it, I don't think. So that's all I got for today. See y'all next time.